Okay, just looking for a 30 minute zero increment game on the strongest site in the world. Let me just see if I can see any ratings for this player at all. Can't see any there, can I? Let's just push the pawn and block. See if we can really take our time in this game. But as we've mentioned, you can take your time and still focus so much on the wrong move. But it's got no increments, so it's not the same as the 1510. Where you can really take your time because you've got 10 seconds you can start doing your bullet blitz practice i'm going to bring the knight out supporting the pawn so already we're in sort of like defense mode they've moved there pretty quick looks like they want to get the game over and done with um obviously if we're looking to do this they're just going to hit us with the pawn here so i'm going to bring the bishop here And just push the pawn supporting the pawn oops because if the bishop takes the knight can take the pawn for free they're moving real quick so they don't look like they've got much patience so i think if we take our time do a bit of calculation we might get on the nerves and hopefully they'll make a mistake so bring the bishop out supporting the knight seems to make sense and there was this but if the bishop is going to be disappearing that's going to be left hanging I'm trying to think if I want to get my knight in the outside or the inside. I'm looking for the inside, but I think... I'll just bring the bishop here, supporting, <clears throat> if they do take. Okay, so they're moving real quick. Okay, I'm going to do some calculation. We are going to go on castle. If they're not looking to take the knight, which it looks like they're not, we could push here. We have to sort out what's actually happening with this bishop first. So we're going to castle. I'm hoping the longer we take with our calculation, we're going to get under their skin and they're hopefully going to make some mistakes. So if we see what the bishop wants to do... Oh, I moved too quick there. <laughs> That's because we've already done the calculation. Um, maybe they're one of those that says, right, I'm just going to sacrifice my knight open up your king space and there is a plus side to it is that um, we do have our knight here at the minute which is protecting this square if they're looking to do that it does leave our king a little bit open well if they want to push here then we can start pushing this pawn it is a bit of a risk because it does leave your king open and our pieces are on the other side let's have a look at the negatives knight takes pawn takes Bishop takes. Bishop's still here. Bring the knight across. Bring the knight across. Let's look at that again. Make sure that that works out right. There. Knight takes. Pawn takes. Bishop takes. Knight moves. Bishop takes the bishop. Queen takes. Yeah, so it's all a bit of a dishevelment. But let's go here. If they do do that, we have a minor piece up, but our king castle has been blown to pieces. They're not doing that, so we could jump here attacking the bishop and also attacking the knight. It does double the pawns, and the pawn is then attacking the knight. We're trying to refrain from getting ourselves in the double pawn position um, in preparation for this tournament. So yeah, nice touch, but let's not do that. Maybe just yet so we did say we were going to push here to see if we can maybe get this pawn off, off the way it looks feels like that's going to be of benefit to us what i don't like is his knight being able to jump in here do we continue pushing no because then it opens up their rook <laughs> so i think there's a bit of a trouble in there do we bring the rook king here and start supporting on this side rather than pushing through the center Really don't like the fact the knight can come here. What damage can it cause? It's just attacking the bishop. Let's hit this pawn. Let's stick with that for now. Yeah, like I said, don't really like the fact they've got that. But I'm going to take the pawn here. Oh, I moved a bit quick. Um, got to move slow. This player likes to play fast. 
We want to get under the skin. The queen takes. All right, so the knight can go and attack the queen. Queen could come, but it's double importance here, going for the exchange. Knight attacking. Obviously, the knight's probably going to take. Bishop takes. Bishop's protecting. I don't really like the position that we have. King is very airy. Anything else that we can do? Bishop x ray and through to there. Bishop. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece is going to work for me. I'll just bring the knight up. We're on 25 minutes. They're on 28. Okay, so they're moving real quick. Good, good, good. Right, so they're on the bishop. Our bishop can take, like we said, supporting. Or we can bring the pawn in. It's just that it's blocking in our bishop. And we, we want the bishop to be at least attempting to do something. Although I think if we do take with the bishop, they're just going to bring their bishop attacking. And if we take, the knight's getting a little bit advanced up the board. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with the speed at which they're moving, they still look like they're finding ideal type positions. My alarm bells are starting to ring, ring, ring. Let's see. Okay, so we take with the pawn. Keep the bishop behind the pawns for a few seconds. Although we want the queen to be in the game as well, don't we? Take with the pawn. We're giving them the power, you see, on that diagonal. I don't want them having the power. Take with the bishop, then we can at least look to challenge their, but their bishop. I'm going to take with the bishop. And see if we can challenge theirs and see if we can get pieces off the board. Obviously very concerned about these pawns now in front of our king. 24 minutes we're on. See if we can get a thinking stage down to 22 or maybe even 21. Alright, so it's got one, two pieces attacking the knight. We were looking to attack, but they've taken that away from us now. Because if we did go here, they could just simply take the um, knight off the board. Knight can jump here, but again, like it's just dump, doubling the pawns and we'll, we won't lose the pawn, but it's doubling the pawns. We're trying to avoid that as best possible. Could come around and attack the bishop. Bishop's got that square, but it's not actually hitting anything. But oh, do you know what? It could do that magical move. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Bishop comes here and then the queen comes here and checkmate. Oh, that's what they're looking for, isn't it? Yeah, so if we move the knight, try to be all fancy or dancy, that's what they're going to do. Bishop here. Can we block it though? We could push the pawn up and it blocks the bishop in. Bishop has to take and we've got three pieces on there. Hey, they might go for that, you know. Attack the knight. Takes, takes. Then he goes for the win. Goes for the bishop. We push the pawn up. Maybe they're not going to do it. I might waste all my energy over that one. It does look tasty though. Any other movements? Let me see. I'm just drawn to this one. To see if that comes off. Or does it come here with the bishop attacking the rook? Mm. Could do a country. Then the rook has to move. Then he comes here. Because the rook's not supporting the file, then it's just the bishop and the queen. Hmm, okay. Not liking this, not liking this. Um, move the king. No, he's got white squared dominance there. Feel a little bit hemmed in. Could move the king up, supporting. It's a bit dangerous, isn't it? Because the knight can never move. But I don't think we want the knight moving. Anything to challenge the queen? Nothing really. Bishop can, but takes the knight. Could push this pawn here to act as a little bit of a pause for attacking. But because they seem to be highly developed with their speed, I think they'll just be blocking that down with the pawn. 
Let's push the pawn. I can't really see anything else. The pro there's loads in there, but uh, yeah, I was a fan of that, but then I realized that the bishop can attack the rook. Rook moves, bishop comes down. So then when we do the pawn move to block the bishop in, the bishop can come back and take. Oh, well, no, actually, the bishop can't come back and take because we'll take it and then the queen has to. So it's probably still that move, isn't it? And if there is capture, capture, we'll run the queen anyway. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Yeah, I was worried I was losing out, but it doesn't look like it. Just take queen exchange, gets rid of all of that calculation. So we take with this rook. Yes, bishop's thinking I haven't got anything to do, so it's probably coming here. So that was a lot of calculation, but I was glad I did it because you know you never know what the opponent can what is going to do. So should we now just hit the bishop and get the rook, maybe potentially owning the file, or are they just going back, or they're going back here? Puts their rook in a funny position, but never mind. So we got it down. To, we did get it down to 21, didn't we? In fact, we got it down to 20. All right. So we're trying to be as infuriating as possible to disconcert this player because they look like a speed merchant. As there, that's just ramping down the moves. So it looks like he's hitting our bishop, or he's looking hitting the rook. And the rook can't come here. But if we doubled up, then we've got time to move the, move the rook up. Yes. So let's go here. I think the pawn is going to be hitting our poor bishop. Let's take some time, man. Take some time. We'll bring the rook. Ready to double up to start working around the back. But then they hit our bishop. Our bishop comes back here. He does have three pawns, you see, pawn majority. So then this pawn drops onto the rook. Mm -hmm. So before we do that, could we bring the bishop here, blocking this pawn, but also supporting any potential attacks here? If we do that, it pushes down onto the rook. Main thing we wanted to do was get this rook doubled here. So it pushes down onto the rook. We push the rook up. But it does have a white square bishop, which will come here. So we're giving him lots of tempo wins. So we go here. The pawn pushes onto the rook. The rook comes back. It's on a white square. Bishop again can still come in here attacking the rook. So it's almost forced to go all the way back again to the start. I'm trying to avoid that. We want to get them double, but it look, doesn't look like it's possible. Well, it is possible if we just do this. But then the bishop is being forced out of the game onto the back. Which is not a good look. Which is going to be the most strongest though? Actually going for the rooks, I think, is going to be the strongest. It gives us potential, potential I say, to get to the back. And so they've not done that with the bishop. So they're actually going castling. If they castle, we can take the bishop off the board. Because it, the rook would be here. So the bishop has to move first. It's not going here, it's not going here. Well, it could come here, attacking the pawn. Or here, actually, as well. So that moves, and we can hit the bishop, but he can go to this square. Just gives them something to think about. Yeah, let's hit the bishop again, just to keep them on the toes. Then they have to go here. Our bishop can attack it, but then we'd lose the rook, so we're not going to go too fast with that. Let's get a thinking pose down to 15 minutes now. So, idea potentially bringing the rook here to come here. 
the castle, rooks protecting the pawn. Not forgetting it does have the bishop here. So are we swinging across and looking to get their bishop off the board? Mm -hmm. So I think simply doing this, in fact, we don't need to go that far, do we? Make it look like we're attacking this pawn, pushes down, or brings the brings the rook behind. So I think a small manoeuvre works. We're on a white square though, it does have a white square bishop. Let's go here. Oh, we didn't make it down to 15. Wow, the time was going down slow. We were already on 17 minutes, weren't we? Let's see if it drops. Oh, I could have sworn it showed 17 minutes when we were talking. So they have pushed the pawn, um, moved quickly. Going to bring the rook here, like we said. Obviously, they're castling now to get the protection onto the pawn. It's on a white square, so we can squeeze the bishop through and attack. Oh, I'm moving a bit quick. Uh, so we can attack, so they might go for an exchange of the rooks with the support from their own bishop. Because there's no checks per se on the king. He's not actually going for the support of his... Um, could bring the rook here just to be annoying. And... You could go there to be annoying. Oh, da, 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 da. Attack the bishop. Bishop's not coming here. Well, it could come there. Nothing's troubling it. Could go here, actually, as well, couldn't it? It's going to feel a bit safe there if we went there. Let's bring the rook across. Let's see what he does. Because we're trying to target this pawn if we can. But they'll probably just go running for the exchanges. Uh, I don't care what the rating is. I'll go for a draw. If it's a draw, it's a draw, isn't it? Well, they seem to have slowed down now. We're te 10 minutes. 10 minutes down from them. That's how fast they've been moving. I think they'll be trying to push this. The bishop's here at the minute, but maybe pushing onto the bishop to say, what are you doing, bishop? If we come here, then maybe that's something. No, they're just going for sort of draw land type thing. So we could take the pawn. And if he takes, then we take. Then the issue is then his rook is going to come and own the file. And we know that's kind of crucial. So we could bring our bishop here. Okay, let's take the pawn. Take the pawn. He takes. Oh, he doesn't have to take. Does he do something funky? Is there some blockage on aisle six? No, no. Take the pawn. Rook takes. Take the rook. Rook says, I've had enough of this. Coming down for your king. Bishop goes, not today. Our rook is here. Ready maybe to attack this pawn. Dropping down, but he comes back and defends. So it could be a draw. And if our bishop is there, let's not forget, he can bring his bishop down here. What, what can he create? Oh, he can start attacking this pawn. Ooh, if his rook is owning this file, I think we might be in trouble, might we? Take. Well, how does it look if we take there? Just takes and then takes. Then at least we're owning the file. We're concerned about owning the file, so... But we really wanted to be a pawn up as well, you know? Disrupt a bit of the pawn structure. Which one's winning for me better? Take. Takes. Take back. Rook owns the file. But we've got the bishop here, haven't we? I think we forgot that the bishop's um, blocking there, so he's not owning the file. It's just then the bishop could come around. But it's not got the support of the... 
rook so we could look to defend with the I think we're doing that let's take the pawn so again I think that's like a four step calculation type thing I don't think we went too far did we so one might have even been two step one takes two three yeah it was a three stepper it's no point going any further because it just hurt your head and it's um they're not guaranteed to do any of what you've calculated they may just run and go right i'm going to own the file but out of that we would have got a pawn so we can just bring the rook back it does take so we grab and as we we're expecting let me see how it looks in reality they're on 25 minutes we're on 13 So they have hit the bishop and we did say something along the lines of bring the bishop here i mean our rook is on their pawn um, but we can bring the bishop here and then it can sit in the center here a little bit of a diamond shape type situation it's going to bring the bishop here they may look to attack it again yep okay but we can do the diamond shape and they're probably looking to try and get some sort of attack thing going here now with the pawn pushing down might work i've not done that calculation on that movement but one key thing is we've blocked off the file for the rooks but they do have a poor majority how is this going to work for them we can put pressure here but yeah link 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 take take we're still going to have poor majority on the rook pawn here I think this bishop is probably going to have to get into the game supporting pieces maybe coming this way like we said at the earlier part of the game if we had tempo we'd be able to bring the king across but i don't think we're going to get it i do think they'll come here it's more challenging for them somehow especially with this sort of stuff going on take 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 Okay, the pawn attacks have started. I'm hoping I think we can do this. It's just it does have a white square bishop like ourselves. I could simply capture as well because it just takes that out of the way, doesn't it? We take a take, and if they take, then the rook can take. And then it's it looks a little bit better for us, I think. I think I'm just taking. So I'm pushing if I push and locking down, it's like looking a little bit good for them. I don't need to overthink that bit, I don't think. Okay, so we could x-ray through and hit there, but he's on a dark square, so the bishop won't be able to attack it. And we can bring our rook here, attacking their pawn. The king comes to defend. So I don't think I'm losing any sleep over this pawn at the minute, because we do have this pawn, unless, of course, he's got some technique of getting rid of the pawn with his own bishop. Where's my rook? Yeah. So let's give them something to think about. But I think just come here and attack the pawn. The king's obviously going to come and defend. Maybe start getting the king across. Now there is an open file here for the rook to try and challenge. Maybe this pawn. Well, obviously challenge the king as well. So they may go, hmm, yes, you go and get the pawn. I'm going to come down and put a squish on your king. Got a little hidey hole here, up, 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 up. But then he can start taking off quite a few pawns. 
So we don't have any pawns for going for promotion. We've got a semi-pass pawn like they have. So we'd have to spend time coming to attack this pawn whilst there's rookies coming down the file. The open files are scary when there's rooks on the board, especially in this end game type situation. Now, I'm feeling like I'm a bit hemmed in with my own king. And obviously I'm concerned for these pawns here. I can't really protect it. Right, let's just relax and chill and just go with the flow now. We know the danger zones. I think they're going to give up the pawn. I think they're going to come here. The computers. Oh, they're not giving it up. Hmm. Okay. So our concerns are that this pawn is going to be attacked, but we can't defend it. If we push this pawn and then attack their bishop to get it out of the way, then he goes and attacks our rook. No, we don't. Let's leave the bishop there. Leave the bishop there. Should we just bring the rook here, owning the file? Because that's what we're concerned with at the moment, anyway. Bishop's protecting this pawn for the moment. Hmm. Got to check on the king, but he can just go backwards and forwards, look hunting for the draw. Or can his king come down? If his king comes down, he looks a little bit hemmed in. He can't come here. He can't go there. Get on a dark square. Let's put the check on. Now, we don't want to run out on time, do we? So, we'll speed up a little bit with the calculation. Because this person's a bit of a speed merchant, as we saw from the beginning. Now the bishop's in the game, but it's got an x-ray through. So I'm going to hit the bishop with our bishop. So he can't move. And we can start doing the trade. Can we? We have loads of pawns here. King coming up, king coming up. Could end up being a draw, really. Or maybe we don't lose any sleep and just attack this pawn. Attack this pawn first, shall we? Do you think? I don't think that's going to work though, is it? I think we're going to lose the advantage. Come and attack the pawn. Bishop can't take. But then we have to... The king moves out of the way, say, because... Of the... No, not that way. Oh, well, yeah, moves out of the way. But then if he moves there, the bishop's got an extra... Well... <laughs> moves out of the x-ray from the rook. Shall we say. Go there, king moves. Let's go here, attack the pawn. Get into the 10 minutes zone. King moves to get out of there. We take the bishop. And then try and do a slow dance with the rook. Take the pawn, get in front. Or does he just come here? But if he does, rook takes with a check. Although that's not... Yeah, he does that. Yeah, he does that. Gets out of the pin. Is there anything better beforehand? I think we're just going with it. Take. And then take the pawn. Just take the pawn. Do what we said. So he's attacking. Don't mind just sitting on the back there with that with the rook. Get the king across. Like we said, we do have poor majority here. He's looking want to get his king down into attacking here. If we hit this pawn, if they take, we take. But then they're not supported really, are they? Hmm. Got a poor majority and I'm not doing anything with it. Move the king. He's faster than us with his king. Yeah, let's hit the king. 
Now we've got a few pieces that can go here, but the rook's going to be hitting our king. Oh, before I do that, just go put a check on the king. He comes for the rook, maybe. Nah, let's just bring the king across. Something's telling me I'm losing all these pawns, you know, some just coming down here with all the with the rook. My lovely pawn advantage. Got to check on the king to win a bit of tempo, so then we could look to trade off the rook. Ooh, cha, damn, what's that? We've got a pass pawn, we've got a pawn majority. We could go and just go for a check on the king. King can't move anywhere else, so it comes well it comes across to attack the rook. No, not that way. It goes there to attack the rook. We take. In fact, he loses the rook anyway, doesn't he? So we'll put a check on the king. Because he can't, he's gonna have to move. Oh, it moves the rook, shame. I <laughs> didn't even visualize that. So we do have like a pass pawn anyway. So we could put a check on the king with the pawn. Although the rook can't no the rook can't take the pawn. So we're gonna put a check on the king. He comes around here and then we take his rook off the board and he takes our rook. So there might be a Zugzwang thing here. But we've got these that maybe can do something for this particular endgame. So it's a check, it's moving. We take, he comes back down and takes. We push, he doesn't have to take, but probably best off, because if he just pushes, we push past. So they take. Take, got like a passer type situation going on. It might work. It might work out. They've gone into the tank, and I think really there's just these moves to do. And he's got the check on, so it's just has to move the king out of the way. It's nothing major, they might win this thing going here, but there's a bit more pawns. It's moved up rather than, oh, it doesn't make no difference, does it? Because if I take, it still comes there anyway. So I could put a check on again. Is there any other magical move? Or I could just go move my king further up and attack the rook. Is he saving his rook? Don't want to save the piece, you know, because if we move up and then he goes, well, maybe I don't want to, and I want to come bring my rook around here and start attacking your your pawns, and then I'm going to feel a bit sick, aren't I? So I'm going to take the rook off the board, keep it simple. And then go with this thing here and see what happens. And push. So this sh should be straightforward now. Just capture and then we should just be able to push. He's got too many pawns to contend with. So maybe there's a resignation coming soon. Or rather saying, show me. If he goes behind the pawn, then it's um, jumping up. Oh, he has done as well. Excellent. That was a really nice game. Two mistakes, one blunder. I care not. I'm a human. Nice one.